Hmm. Eh, KVT is fine. Anyway. So I'm half asleep because it's blowing a gale and I couldn't sleep last night and my brain wasn't draining properly and I was thinking about how lots of things. But one thing that popped in my head was A. Why am I bad at this game? B. How do I get better? C. How do we measure how good someone is at this game? Because there are lots of player made algorithms as well as, as, well as a developer made algorithm to compress all of the publicly information, publicly available information about an account and world of tanks and spew out a single number that tells another player how good you are. Now, I don't know if Wargaming's own algorithm is publicly available, but the other ones are. And I come at these games from a kind of D&D perspective when it comes to giving people numbers and telling them that these numbers are important. Which is to say, if you give someone a number and you tell them that that number is important, they will find ways of improving that number. And the way in which they will find ways of improving that number is not necessarily the way in which... is not necessarily by doing the thing that that number is supposed to represent. If you go onto any given forum that has got a section, that has got a thing about, you know, post counts or reputation, people will do things to fish for that number to go higher. They will spam posts and they will beg for likes or thumbs up or, or whatever it is your shitty forum uses. Because that's how you're because that's how people know that you're important, how you're good, how you're an asset to the community that you belong to. Even if the way in which you got these numbers higher was actually detrimental to the community that you're supposed to be in. As well. So this is the thing, you you give people essentially an algorithm which has some things in it weighted more favourably than others. If you said to someone, well, okay, for damage is a function of... I don't know about that one. I could have killed the other guy. Oh, I've read the ESA, that would be terrible. Anyway. Sorry, so where was I? Yeah. Why am I playing this like a SPG? Well, what she needs is a dance, it's kind of hypnotic. Anyway, so if you give people a number and you say, you know, this is how good you are at the game, because this is your number, people are going to find new and exciting ways of bumping that number up, and part of that is through um, knowing how the algorithm works. So let's say you have an algorithm which works out how good you are at World of Tanks. That's fine. Now let's say people know what that algorithm is and there's a problem with your algorithm let's say or not even necessarily a problem let's say you as a group of players value damage as the most important thing it is the most heavily weighted part of your equation spotting gets you every point of tanky spot gets you five but every point of damage you do gets you one now I shoot someone and do 120 points of damage if I don't penetrate with this gun in, on a good day. So shooting this gun once and hitting someone gets you as many essentially points towards your number as spotting the entirety of the enemy team successfully. I'm not saying that this is how it's done, but I'm just saying this is an example of how you might take that information and, and run with it. Now you might go, well, this is designed to be a, a number that tells you how good you are at the game. But what it is, in fact, is a number which tells you that in order to get this number higher, you need to be the guy that does the damage, not the guy that starts spotting. So you preferentially play, you, you're, you change your behavior in order to get this number, make this number higher. You don't spot as much, instead you're interested in doing damage. Again. I'm not saying it's how this works, but I'm saying that this is a, a a point against and the danger of reducing all of the numbers down to a single number. There is essentially an inherent bias to 
towards certain behaviors in world of tanks based on whatever algorithm you're using to judge whether or not you're good at this game and this is going to happen essentially regardless because if you say well what's actually important isn't your win rate how essentially how many games you've won but rather how many I hit. Ah. Uh. Suddenly, I'm not how many games you've won, but how much damage you've done. All. Basically, people will love to take, will want to make their number bigger, and that's normal. That's normal behaviour. Oh shit, we actually people actually gonna flank. Anyway. People want to get that number bigger. And you might say this number measures measures how good you are at the game. But it's important to note how that <laughs> Oh that's live. Uh, sorry man. That is life. You're right. You know, are you Night Wolf? You're a good person. I don't say this often about people in Valve Tank. I mean, my. My. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> You know, if you're not an arsehole, you're probably a nice person in World of Tanks because it's an online game and even any nice thing, anyone saying anything positive is a rarity. But you know what? Good on you, mate. Anyway, so... If you give people a number and you say this is how good you are, people are going to find a way to optimise that, are going to find a way to make that number, try to find a way to make that number higher. And that is not necessarily a good thing because it becomes less about getting better at the game and more about getting that number higher. Right, hopefully I can actually just pop a shot into this guy as he goes up the hill. Too bad. I was going to say, you can't have a bad game with KV2. That's why I've got so many games with them, just because it's. They are a lot of fun to play, and I'd recommend anyone who's interested in other well, times should aim for getting KV2 as quickly as possible. And not worrying too much about your win rate, or your WNA, or your WN6, or your personal rating, or your efficiency rating, or any of those other player made, player developed main metrics. Because Fundamentally, it's a computer game. I'm not going to go, oh, it's just a game, you shouldn't worry about it. No, of course, by all means, try and get better at this game, because you, you want... Improvement is always good. But... Rather than worry about how you can improve the numbers, focus on just things as simple as winning games. Or going, you know, this game I'm going to really make an effort to survive. This game I'm going to really make an effort to do damage. I'm going to try not to be. I'm going to play a scout and I'm not going to suicide scout. I'm going to peek boo and then run back. I'm going to try hard at something and try and get that going. Be good at that thing. Because as soon as you start worrying about your WN6 or your WN8 or any of the other numbers. As soon as you start thinking about that too heavily. It's 
this is going to end badly for me. Nope. <laughs> See, that guy's salty about losing, and that's fine. But that other guy was really friendly about it. I don't think there's anyone else here. But I'll go just poke my head over this corner and have a look. Are we going to be able to track him down in five minutes? He's going to run, isn't he? Oh, you're not going to drive off the cliff. Don't be that person. Ah, thank God. 